Now, believe it or not, we're actually in the Berlin's great kitchens where thousands of meals were prepared for the Berlin family. This was the Berlin's headquarters. Now, in the 19th century, the great fireplaces of the kitchen collapsed and the kitchen was therefore temporarily moved to the Great Hall and thereafter outside the curtain walls, which allowed this space to be reimagined by William Wardorf Astor as a reception room where music and strong aperitifs would precede a hearty Edwardian dinner in the Great Hall. Now the carving in the Italianate walnut is so beguiling in this room that it's easy to miss certain details, such as this pearl which is hanging in the hair of Elizabeth de Valois, the third wife of Philip of Spain. Now this pearl was actually worn by his second wife, daughter of Henry VIII, Mary I, who co-owned Hever with Philip during her reign. Now, this pearl was actually purchased by the actor Richard Burton, who gifted it to his wife, Elizabeth Taylor. Now, she actually wore the pearl here at Hever during the filming of the 1969 film, Anne of the Thousand Days. Another object that you may not have seen is a splendid replica of the marriage clock that Henry VIII is believed to have gifted to Anne Boleyn on the occasion of their wedding in 1533. It was made by William Wardorf Astor for Hever. Now, was Henry telling Anne the time had come, as she so prophetically wrote in her Book of Hours, now on permanent display here at Hever Castle? When you visit the inner hall, don't forget to look up. Thomas Boleyn had high ceilings installed because of the immense heat generated by the two kitchen fireplaces. William Wardorf Astor has installed huge Tudor roses to acknowledge the four Tudor monarchs who owned Hever and the two Queen Consort who lived here.